Tech exemplified everything that's Texas Tech University, West Texas, and Texas Tech football. I mean, to me, and I love the history of Tech football, Spike has carved out a huge block of Texas Tech football history and I think was critical uh, when he came to Tech and built the foundation for what I for 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 the successes that we've had in the last 20 25 years. I think Spike's Mr. Tech football. Why do so many people love this guy? He's he's honest, he's true, he's a uh, I mean, he likes everybody. He treats the president of the university and the janitor the same. And there's not a lot of people that do that. Spike just makes you feel better about yourself. Uh Spike was a special person that 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 uh, he gonna be hard. It's hard losing him for sure. You got a favorite memory? Uh, well, I've heard all the stories like most of you have, but he recruited me when I was in high school. I was 18 years old, and he walked in the house with Daryl Royal. And back in the day, for you younger folks, that a young 18 year old, and I had to walk in that room and tell Spike Dykes and Daryl Royal that I was going to Texas Tech. And I was hiding back in my bedroom and my dad made me go out and face Spike <laughs> and Daryl Royal. And you know, you don't re for remember a lot of things that happened to you that long ago, but I happened to that. But you know what, later on, Spike treated me like, I mean, it, it didn't matter. I mean, he just treated me and and, and, and Spike loved Texas Tech. I'm just telling you, Spike loved Texas Tech. That was who he was. It wasn't Texas. It wasn't any of that. He, he loved Texas Tech. When you look across the, the coaching profession, Bob Stoops, uh, Matt Brown had, had talked about him today at length on social media and whatnot, just the impact that he had not only on just the game of college football, but also you know, the state of Texas and, and what he means to the state, West Texas as well. History will history history will serve Spike Dykes well in, in that in that way. But you know the thing about Spike and there's a lot of head coaches throughout the country that have coached for a hundred years. But I promise you, not Spike was a guy that those players that played for him they love Spike Dykes. I mean, I've I've gotten calls all day long. I've I've been on the phone all. I mean, the players sincerely loved the man. I mean, they did. They, he treated them. He coached them. He brought them up. He made them from young men to, to men. And, and he, 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 was, he had a great impact on these players. And I'm not sure where they'll have the funeral. I'm not sure this stadium's big enough to have this funeral. I mean, I think we've, we've lost an icon today. Can you talk about the impact he had on you? Well, he did, but he, to, to me, he, he did. He probably had more influence on me later in the last five years because I never coached or played for Spike, but I've, I've known Spike for a long, long time, and I've respected Spike. When I was coaching here in the early 80s, I recruited Midland Lee High School where Spike was coaching, and, you know, we've had a great relationship all through the years, but he's always treated me well. He treated me like he did everybody else. He just gives you a warm – after you talk to Spike, you feel better about yourself after you've talked to Spike. I mean, Spike's got a 100,000 best friends. I mean, that's just the way Spike makes you feel. As you went around the country after having played for Tech and, and being in the coaching profession, just talking with other people about Texas Tech, how much, how often is he just the first name that's, that's always brought up with the people that you talk to? Well, anybody that associates Texas Tech and football, Spike Dykes is one of the first names that comes up. And I think Spike, in my opinion, b belongs up in those words when you mention tech football with E.J. Holub and Donnie Anderson. I think Spike Dykes is one of those type of iconic figures, and I think history will tell us that. Thanks, Spike. Well, shocked, you know, as everybody would be. It's, uh, you know, it's not a very good day, but, uh, you know, makes you weak as your knees, especially the time that we had together. And, uh, uh, you know, we lost a great man. He's a great ambassador for Texas Tech and, and Lubbock and, and Texas in general, but everybody in the country knew him. I mean, it wasn't just Texas, but everybody knew him. So it, it's a sad day for everybody, but we need to celebrate him because uh, he was one of a kind and uh, you're not everybody going to find another one like him. So, you know, it's, uh, it's hard, but at the same time, uh, you know, prayers are out to his family and uh, we've got to move on. 
Spike, every time you talk to, to Coach Dykes, he always said something that always seemed to at least make me smile. I think that kind of is synonymous with, with a lot of people who, who ran across him. What's, what's maybe a favorite memory that you have? Well, it, you know, it's, uh, there are so many. Uh, you know, the way he was, you go in his office, you may have your shirt off, has shorts on, those spandine shorts and, and no shoes and socks, and he'll walk right out in the, the hallway, up down the hallway like that. So it's, uh, you know, that was, that was, that was Spike Dykes. Uh, and, you know, there's many things that he's done, you know, throughout that period of time. And, you, you know, I had, a, I had a good friend tell me one time, said the, the greatest compliment that you can give to a guy is call him a man. Spike Dykes was a man, and uh, there's nobody like him. I mean, he's, like I said a while ago, he's one of a kind. We won't, uh, we won't have another one. So we enjoyed it while we could. And uh, all the great memories that we've had, we've got we've to gotta live with those. What was your first meeting with him like? Uh, you know, I moved to uh, Lubbock in 88, and I came out here after coaching 15, 20 years and then got in the TV and plants business. And, and a coach at K-State told me, he said, when you get to Lubbock, you need to meet Spike Dykes. And uh, sure enough, the first thing I did, I came out to practice in that spring, and uh, I met him, told him who I was, and he didn't really care, but he was, he was fine. Uh, and that's what they said, that's the way he was. He was uh, certainly, I mean, he loved everybody. And if you, if you wrote Spike Dykes a, a note, or if you call him, he's going to call you back, and he's going to, you know, he was going to send that note back to you. Not everybody does that. I've been around a lot of coaches, and they don't have the time to do that. But he would take the time for everybody, so... I hope that answered your question. Probably didn't, but it sounds good. When's the last time that you got a chance to see him, spend some time with him? It's, it's been a while. He uh, he would call, and uh, if he had some friends that had players, <laughs> high school players, he would call and say, "Hey, you know, would you have your guys look at this?" So I was kind of the liaison in between he and our our coaches and the recruiting coordinators. So uh, uh, the last time I talked to him, it's probably been a month and a half ago, and. Uh, you know, he's always doing good. He never would tell you if he didn't, didn't feel good or not. So, uh, but he'd, uh, he'd had a few health problems, so. What did he mean to the community, not just on the sidelines as a football coach, but just, I guess, an ambassador for the, the program, for the school? Well, and sometimes it's, uh, that gets overlooked, you know, because everybody knows Spike as, uh, or knew him as such a great man and person. Uh, Sometimes they forget about what kind of football coach he was, and he was a great football coach, and he did a lot of great things for Texas Tech when they needed some help, and uh, he did that. He, he brought some life uh, uh, and energy and, and, uh, and a lot of good things back for Texas Tech, and uh, you, know, you, can't, you can't replace that. I don't know if you've been on social media too much today or how much time you might even spend on there, but there's obviously been a lot of outpouring support from Mac Brown, Coach Stoops, uh, he obviously just meant a lot to the coaching community, whether it was a big part of Texas or just across the NCAA level. Can you speak to that respect you know, he, that he had? He did, and, and not only the college coaches or university coaches, he was, uh, everybody loved him, uh, but high school coaches, you know, and sometimes you forget about that when you get to college, think you get a little better than those people, you're not. I mean, Spike was one of the high school coaches in Texas for a long time, and he never forgot those roots that he, was, uh, that he came from. And uh, those coaches hadn't forgotten him, and I'm sure they learned a lot from him. Sometimes they didn't take heed to that, but uh, as I said before, when I started this thing off, he was one of a kind. He did things that not many coaches will do. They won't take the time to do it today, and he never forgot where he came from. And like you mentioned, I mean, he, he's someone who just kind of represents West Texas, like lives and breathes. I mean, once he got done coaching football, I mean, he goes down to Lumisa and he's, he's helping selling cars. I mean, that, that's kind of almost the most West Texas thing I feel like I've ever heard. I mean, it is. He, he just, in your mind, is he just the, the pinnacle of what a West Texan represents? Well, he is. And you know what I said a while ago, there's one, he's, he was one of a kind. So he, he represents West Texas and, but not only West Texas. I mean, he was great for this, this part of the country, but he was good all over. I mean, he just uh, was a great ambassador for football. And uh, what a great family. We can't forget about his family because uh, they're going through some hard times right now, but they're special people. And so he did a nice job with his family, I promise you. Have you ever had anyone else make that, this type of impact on you, on you, someone that you didn't know, you meet, he hires you, and then? No, because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here today. You know, I, uh, I got out of the business and was out of football for eight or nine years, and uh, Spike Knight said, hey, won't you come be my recruiting coordinator after we sold our businesses out? And I, 
I, I wasn't doing anything. I mean, I, I, I might have been driving bus right now or whatever it, the case may be, but he gave me another opportunity to get back in this field, and I've been here 21 years. I've been very fortunate, but everything I've done today and I have is because of him, and, you know, you can't, uh, you can't get around that. So, love the man. Thanks, Tommy. Thank y'all. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs>